Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be showing you how to define curly hair using three different methods. The shingling method, the finger coiling method, and then a new method that I recently tried out and experimented with, um, applying gel before styling cream. These routines were done and filmed on three separate days, two of them on the same wash and go hairstyle. This video can be used as a reference to show you the different but easy and creative ways you can, you know, use to bring out your own natural curly hair pattern. So if you're interested in that, then, you know, go ahead and stay tuned. Alright, so jumping straight into the shingling routine, I'm just going to be spritzing my hair with some water and then smoothing the water in. For products today, I'm going to be using the Paul Mitchell Tea Tree Firm Hold Gel and then Miss Jessie's Curl Cream. And both of these products are very moisturizing, they're very high quality. This is my first time using this product combination, but yeah, I use these two products for all three of my routines. So yeah, jumping straight into the very first routine. It's important that when you're, you know, working your styling products into your hair to make sure that each strand is 100% saturated since we are going for that defined look. The more that you, you know, work the product in and smooth it down the hair shaft, um, the more probable it is for that cuticle to remain smooth. Another way to increase the chances of the cuticle being smooth is doing a cold water rinse after you've washed your hair. So after the products are applied, I'm just raking my fingers through my hair, allowing my curls to separate, and then where they naturally separate, I'm just going to take that individual curl and then continually smooth my fingers down the shaft, and then just let the curl go. This is also a great way to make your curls a little bit more thicker than what they are naturally. If you take larger chunks and then smooth your fingers down and then let it go, um, you can see right there I just created a bigger curl. I usually don't do that for every single curl because that will make my hair very heavy and it will be in my face and I don't really like that. So keep in mind the bigger and thicker the curl is, the heavier your hair <laughs> will be. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have parted my hair differently for this video. I've done horizontal lines across my head rather than the vertical line um, through, you know, the middle part of my head. And the reason why is because when my hair would dry, I'd have that very awkward line of demarcation and it was kind of difficult to get rid of it. When I part my hair horizontally, uh, the lines are much more easy to hide, much more easy to get rid of. So if you have that problem, uh, line of demarcation, Try parting your hair in different ways, you know, don't stick to parting your hair the same way every single time. Yeah, this is the result after each strand has been shingled, I guess, and this is the result of it when it has been air dried. I let my hair air dry for a couple of hours, it's very springy, very shiny, very bouncy. Um, each curl is defined, there is literally little to no frizz. And so I slept with this overnight, I wore it out the next day, but I did nothing to it. I took it out of the bun and this is the result, I just picked it out. So I turned a very defined look into a very voluminous, big, and fluffy look. So you can, you know, really mix and match these different hairstyles using that one technique. So I'm just going to wet that same hairstyle and immediately move on to the next routine, which is the finger coiling routine. So once again, I'm splitting my hair horizontally, splitting it in half. I did not apply any more product. I just simply wet my hair well enough so that the older product can activate again. And so I'm smoothing my fingers down the length of my hair and then immediately finger coiling it, following my natural curl pattern. And it's really that simple. However, keep in mind for this demonstration, I am not coiling every single curl on my head. I'm actually just doing the front just to show you guys, you know, the different ways you can enhance your natural curly pattern. 
One of the positive things that I've noticed from doing finger coils is the curls last so much longer when you finger coil it rather than just applying styling products and letting it dry. That way the coils last two times as long. It's also very easy for me to blend the coils in with my natural curly pattern because I do have naturally coily hair. With that being said, finger coils aren't really my favorite. I just think it's a waste of time because my hair is already naturally coily like I said, but this is the second demonstration. After this, I just went to sleep, woke up the next day, and co-washed my hair. And after I co-washed my hair, I immediately moved on into the third routine, which is applying gel before my, you know, styling cream. So I'm just taking a little bit of gel here and then working it into, you know, my whole head of hair and then afterwards I'm going to split my hair in half once again horizontally and then tie one half back here in a minute. After I have a half of my hair split off I then go in with the cream and then I work that in. Um, what really gave me this idea is, uh, <laughs> to be honest, one day I just woke up I wet my hair and then I applied cream to my hair after I had already applied gel and I noticed my hair was really clumped together, you know? My routine also lasted much more longer. I think this one lasted for about six days, which is a very long time for me in the summer because the humidity really just kills my hairstyles. And then the most important thing is my hair was not hard, stiff, or crunchy from doing it backwards, gel first, cream second. Also, don't mind the white residue. That's how it usually is for the back portion of my hair. It sits in my hair for a while before my hair actually absorbs the product but yeah after I have the product applied to both halves of my head I just shake it out and shake out my roots and I let it air dry. Alright well this is my hair after I let it air dry I just picked out the roots a little bit but that is it if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to uh, you know comment subscribe all of that if you have any questions let me know otherwise I'll see you guys in my next video.